Hello everyone, here we are back, and gosh, I just couldn't wait to play some more Vampire Survivors. And I was talking to some people on the stream last night, uh, my good buddy Kuro and Distro, and they both, of, of course, I mentioned this game, played it, and talked about how it's great and addicting, and I think it's only three bucks on Steam, so if you haven't gotten it yet, uh, I think it's just a fun way to spend a few hours uh and it's definitely worth the price so last time i was uh pasqualina and i'm going to try imelda so here we go okay she shoots like that we can do this sure Music's back. Mm -hmm. I gave me the blues. We gotta level up. We don't have very much stuff here. We're in bad shape. Give me more stuff. We need it. Oh, yeah. Well... You know what's interesting, but I just can't say no to the King Bible. The axe goes kind of up and down, and the, the cross goes whoever's closest. But the King Bible is just so much more predictable, because it's just going to do this uh, swirl around you. And it might not be the best at first, but once you get this baby going, once you get these Bible, look at the pages of the Bible just flying out. By the way, I don't know who put that skull on a stick, but we need to... St oh, there's skulls everywhere on sticks. Can, we, can I break that? It's just like, I don't like this decoration. There's a lone lily pad. That's one heck of a lily pad. It's the same size as me. I mean, can you imagine a frog that would sit on a lily pad like that? I don't want to think about it. There we go. Okay. Uh, well, I love... Um, I'm actually going to take the magic wand. Fires another projectile. So, my magic wand is what I'm shooting with. Normally, I like to add more different attacks, but when you can add another projectile, I kind of consider that to be tantamount to uh, another attack. And so, uh, I'm down with it. Plus, the wand fires very quickly. Dancing. Dancing. Grooving. Take him down. Oh, God. Alright. Oh, my God. Here come bats. That was close. Yes, we're in. Alright. So, I could get my health increased i could increase my projectile speed or i could reduce the cooldown of my wand and uh, i love the idea of the 10 percent increased projectile speed because sometimes your projectiles uh just seem to go oh god yeah that was bad go so slowly i got caught in the bad spot there So far, though, of these heroes, I could have got the Rune Tracer. You know, don't get me wrong. What is this? Is that 10 coins? 5 coins? 10. Yeah, the bag of money is good. 10 coins. Uh, so far, the Whip seems to be my favorite because it, it looks like it does area damage. It might not do as much, but, you know, when you're talking about just seas of enemy... Yeah... Area damage seems great. Okay, um... I'm gonna try this fire wand. I've never seen this before. Let's see what this is all about. Oh! Yeah, I like it. There we go. Yeah, if we can get that into that big crowd. Look at the fire wand. It deals heavy damage, too. I think if there was some way, um, I don't know what's in the upper right where there's two bars. 
what that means. There's like two transparent vertical bars underneath my coins in the upper right. I'm not quite sure. Let's see if we can intuit what those are all about. Uh, is it like wave two or stage two or I don't know. anyway? Um, one thing I would like in this game would be something where you can like a mini map or something where you could zoom out momentarily and just kind of see where your gems are. So if, if there was a big pile that you had left behind, you could make your way back to it. All right. Well, um, uh, I really like the Bibles. So I'm gonna take another projectile. I was close to the knife, but another one of these things swirling around. Yeah, let's get this treasure chest. I'm gonna focus on killing this glowing bat if we can. We get a fireball up at that guy, it's over. Um, or not, he's really strong. Oh, he didn't drop a treasure, he just dropped a bunch of uh, experience. That's disheartening. Oh my god, they're coming. Alright, here's look. Oh, yes, look at all this blue. Oh. Nelly. Level up. Alright, um. All base speed up by 10%. So that. I think that probably means melee and. Um, projectile. I don't think that means your movement speed, although that would be insane. Um. I'll increase my... The spinach, I just love it. I mean, allowing your stuff to scale up all of it is tremendous. There's a big bag of cash. A cash bag. I can't say no. Uh, there's food. I actually don't really need it. I got took damage getting that food, but okay. Probably should have left the food behind. Ugh. Oh no, here they come. Alright, let's work on these plants. My Bible does great work on these plants. I just ran through it. They got held up by that tree, and I used that as my little, uh, window. Oh god, here's the mantis. Get him. There we go. Now the crowd is cool. Don't get me wrong, but uh, I need more weapons. Empty Tome is also interesting, reduced cooldown, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and get that knife. I have noticed that the magnet is somewhat helpful in just getting gems and the like. Yeah, the knife is great. Boom, here we go. Uh, base damage up. Do it. Just strengthen all of our goodness. No. So move speed would be so phenomenal at some point, but it's very expensive. So, you know, the permanent passive buffs that you can purchase outside the game that you would really, really want, they're quite costly. With good reason. I mean, come on. They're amazing. Moses. All right. Do I want the Rune Tracer? Or do I want Bibles? I honestly think at first I just want as much stuff happening from my character as possible. My Bibles are good, but... Oh, here comes this. Uh, this isn't good. 
Oh my god. I, I saw it coming, and I... It's interesting how the game works when you... You know, you telegraph your movement. Alright, so here this comes. Ugh, I'm having such bad luck with these storms. What is going on with me? No! What? Oh man, that was mis that was my worst ever. I before I had no problem getting away from those swarms. I just kind of messed up my controlling. Uh, find five floor chickens, unlock garlic. Okay, we got that anyway. Done. All right. Well, hmm. I wonder what the big problem was there. Uh, I think the problem was I just got hit by waves of bats, which I usually don't uh, power up. I, we can't afford some stuff, though. Um, not that, of course, but... Oh, no, it's all 260, so it's all, like, right out of our grasp. Okay, fine. Um, then... I'm going to go ahead and go with Antonio again. Back to the basics. Because the whip does damage, and it's a little bit more predictable, too. Like, okay, whatever direction I'm facing, like, there's going to be a whip. Bam. Um, we know about the Bible. If the Bible's available, we're getting it. I'm going to try a little, like messing around with my movement a little bit. Maybe not moving as much as I normally... Oh, God. Well, I say that and I get hit. You see what happens. Mm -hmm. There it is. Hmm. Boy, all of these are really good. I think the whip, though, firing another is fantastic, because it's just, like, in front and behind. Area damage is just so useful, especially at the range that the whip puts it. Take this, you monsters. There we go. Yeah, the magnet is just really, really useful. I'd want it even more uh, at some point. Okay, these are all cool. Uh, honestly, um... I do like the bird. It's... You can see how it, it shoots stuff that's a little bit further away from me that I would like sometimes, but it's definitely doing things. Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, every once in a while it hits stuff. You can And you can see when the the circle is turned on. Well, that, that time we were able to kind of dance out of the way a little bit better. Like, when the circle for the, the pigeon, death pigeon, is turned on, you can sort of aim it. Oh, you can break these just like in Castlevania. Boy, I didn't know that. I gotta what, pay attention to the environment more. So these candle sconces you can break, and they actually have good stuff inside. So that's wonderful to remember. Oh, boy. Here they come. Hi, everybody. Hi, bats. Can you imagine doing this to the population of bats? You would be in the, like, go down in bat infamy. We hate this guy. He's killed almost all of our species. We were once prolific. Now we are endangered. These skeletons with the bandanas are awesome. Don't come at me with a whip. I use the whip here. Wow, these glaives. 
Yikes. I don't want to see that. Got there. Got there. All right. I just think 8% experience is... A, I'm not blown away by it. Yes, it would help me level up faster, uh, but I would rather have some more damage. I'd, I'd rather be, you know, Popeye whenever possible. Oh my. Sweet fancy Moses. Look what we've done over here. This is from Bat... Bat murder. Just kind of sneak around here. There it is. Uh, I'm going to get across. I, would, I was really close to getting more Bible, but... I... I do believe that having as many... Oh boy, go up. Especially when you have something like the spinach that affects more attacks, you know, 10% across all attacks. You want as many attacks as you can get. Uh, let's go ahead and get a knife. Yeah, the knife is really fast. It fires that thing quickly. I didn't mean to get that, but my magnet... And the, the cross is nice, even though it's not, like... It's really, really hard to figure out where the cross is going to go. The boomerang means that it at least sweeps back through a bunch of fools at some point. I'm not huge on the cross, though. I see a lot of redundant attacks with it. They're coming. Hey, we got there. All right. Um, yeah, I, I want another Bible projectile for sure. There it goes. Alright, cool. God, once we killed that. I mean, there's so many blue gems out here. The thing that's nice about Antonio, too, is that he scales... Based on his own level, he gets 10% more damage. So it's like, you have built-in spinach. Which could also make getting spinach with him not as useful. But 10% damage is 10% damage. And if you have compound interest going... Nothing wrong with adding even more to it. All right, I need to go back and get all this. I left a bunch of stuff on the table back there. Let me see if I can break these pillars or these gravestones. No. Oh boy, bats. It's such an interesting design decision. Uh, or impactful decision, I should say, that you don't get experience from killing the enemies. You have to pick up the gems. Because, you know, you could just wander around and never stop. But the gems containing the experience incentivize you to have to take a moment and go back through the droves. Yeah. Uh, wings. Yes, 10% move speed. This is just a utility thing. It doesn't increase my damage, but oh man, you can really feel it. Ow, I got hit there. The garlic damages nearby enemies, reduces resistance to knockback and freeze. So what it just does... Oh, this, the garlic just puts out an aura of damage for things that are really, really close to you? That's kind of sick. How often does it... Yeah, it doesn't do very much, but it's nice. Like, you add that on to some of your damage, and you're in really good shape. Oh my god, bat wave. We gotta go this way. 
Yeah, move speed is just so critical so that you don't get hung out to dry. All right. Take that. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know what... Oh, that's right. I got this fire ability. Yeah, kill that mantis. Can you get him? Yes. Kill all of this stuff. Man, these power-ups are so insane if you can get them. I want that treasure. Oh man. This guy got in the way. Right, I'm gonna have to get it. Yes. Disco. Ooh, we leveled up our garlic, and we got 90 gold. Thank you. Uh, base area up by 40% and damage up by 2. Ooh, look at my super garlic. Man, the garlic scales really well. All right, we're going to go with more spinach. Give me more damage. That helps my garlic. You smell that stink of my garlic, enemies? I bet you do. It's here to stay. Garlic power. If I had garlic and then permanent, like, Bibles swirling around, I would just be a, you know, circle of doom. Oh, there's a treasure. Baller. Okay, we got a... Oh, we upgraded our knife. Okay, that's right, we already had that. So the treasure pretty much only upgrades what you already have, which is another reason why it's nice to have a bunch of stuff. Ooh, one more projectile. Great. Thank you. Look at that. I'm throwing two knives at a time. It's beautiful. With this garlic and these Bibles, I'm really, really incentivized to try to just stand in and pour out the damage. Oh, God, but I'm getting hit. Okay. But then you, you have dumb things like that to happen where you get hit you become embarrassed but you can break those are pretty reliable for something decent at the very least a coin but sometimes big thing of chicken right, i want to kill one of these if i can oh these bats are harder though these big ones gotta get away from these things Boom! Oh man, that's such a good power up. Insane. Okay. Um, we're gonna get the Bible. Take it. I got hit getting this treasure, which I'm not happy about, but I needed to get the treasure. Garlic. Yes, thank you. What's the garlic do now? Cooldown reduced by one second and base damage up one. That's pretty good. All right. Oh, but I need to, uh, well, I needed to have, ah, I'm getting wrecked. Getting wrecked. I need to go get that treasure. Yeah, no, it was a dream, but then there was just too much damage at some point there. I couldn't get out. That's why shields or something like that are also just such a good utility to pick up. Hmm. This isn't looking as good as it was. I need to keep moving. Got killed. We had a good run, though. That was a good one. Uh, we unlocked the lightning ring. That sounds good. Awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and check out our power-ups. And honestly, what do I feel like I want more of? Uh, area. More area seems good. Projectiles moving faster. Effects from weapons last longer. Uh, let's get the movement speed, honestly. I feel that that would be really helpful. So we got a little bit of movement speed. And we're doing great. All right, everyone. This is a good place to end the episode. We had a couple of fun runs there. We're, we're slowly but surely building up. We weren't able to replicate some of our earlier success... And I think I just need to keep moving more. I think I got a little bit enamored with my 
uh, proximity AoE there, and I may have uh, taken more damage than I needed to, and I didn't get any armor or a shield either. That seemed to be really, really instrumental in keeping me alive. I want to say thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time. Take care.